Figma has announced over 30 amazing updates for both Figma and FigJam, making it easier than ever to create stunning designs and collaborate with others. In today's video, I'm going to show you the most important updates and how you can utilize them to supercharge your creativity. Let's start with update number one, vertical trim. Have you ever noticed that when you create a text layer, there is some empty space above the cap height and below the baseline, also known as leading? Well, now you have the ability to trim it. You can simply select your text, head over to the type settings panel and enable the vertical trim option. This is my favorite update because we can finally achieve great optical alignment when we align text inside containers like buttons. Although it's an amazing feature for us as designers, it could be tricky for developers to implement because not all browsers currently support it. If you inspect the CSS code generated by Figma, you can see that two new properties have been added to it, the leading trim and the text edge properties. These are relatively new CSS properties and as it's mentioned here, they are draft properties. Update number two, luminance mask is now supported in Figma. But you may ask, what is it and how can it benefit your design work? Well, the luminance determines a mask based on brightness. So the brighter the area of a mask, the more that is revealed. Let me show you an example. Here I am gonna select this image and this shape and hit the mask button. Now I can head over to the inspector and change the mask type from alpha to luminance. And there it is. As you can see, the bright areas are more transparent than the dark areas. Update number three is hanging punctuation. Now punctuation such as quotations and brackets can hang outside the text box. Just select your text, head over to the type settings panel, go to the details tab and enable the hanging codes. It also works for lists. Update number four is trackpad haptics. If you're using the desktop version of Figma, you can now enable the trackpad haptic feedback in the preferences and you will get haptic feedback on your trackpad when you use auto layouts or FigJam features. Make sure to give it a try, it's awesome. Update number five is image snapping. Whenever you try to resize an image, it snaps the moment aspect ratio is perfect. If you wanna temporarily disable all snapping, you can hold down the control key on your keyboard. Update number six is on canvas previewing. If you're not sure what each of these layer blend modes does, I have good news for you. You can now preview the effect while hovering over these options. This feature makes it easier to experiment with different blend modes and find the perfect one for your design. Update number seven is sticky vertical scrolling. We now have the ability to make an object stick to the top of its parent frame while we scroll vertically. It's a super useful feature for creating sticky headers when you are creating a table or sticky menus. Keep in mind that at the moment, you can only make your object stick to the top of the frame, not to the sides and bottom. Update number eight is numbered list. Number lists no longer have to start with the number one. It can start from any number you want. Update number nine is file previews. If you're using the desktop version, you can now hover over the tabs to preview the file content quickly. Update number 10, is image alignment. In the past, while you were editing the image, the alignment options were disabled. But now you can realign your image even when you are editing it. Which one of these updates is your favorite? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you wanna discover the Figma plugins I personally use in my projects, make sure to check out this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more design tutorials. Have an awesome day and see you next time.